Hi there. In this video, we are going to execute our automation solution on Jenkins. Right. So this far, what we have done is we have created request within Postman. Right. We have executed all our request under a collection using collection runner. And then we executed that collection with the help of Newman on the command line. Right. Now we are going to execute our collection on Jenkins. Okay. So before we continue with this video, here are the prerequisite. Make sure that you watch part 14, 15, and 16, and then move on to this video. Okay. So what is the first step? So we are going to create the command, right? So they, these are the different steps. So here we are going to use Newman with Postman API okay this is what we are going to use so what is the command then newman run this is the collection so you could see that i'm making use of apis and the reason is of course again watch that video in which i've already covered that newman with postman api uh, now you know it is always going to fetch the latest collection okay uh, and then environment also i'm fetching with the help of a postman api key then these are the report reports that i'm going to generate so i'm going to generate cli j unit html and html extra report then these are this is the path for j unit report right so under my workspace i'm going to create a folder reports and inside that this is the report that will be generated All right same is the case with html and html extra report right and then hyphen k since i'm not passing any certificate information right so this is going to be my command so let's open our so here's the list so uh, this is this is the playlist so you have to watch part 14 part 15 and part 16 okay then move on to this video all right so i've already logged into my console uh, sorry jenkins click on new item give it a name so postman on jenkins click the freestyle project click on ok all right and go to the build section so since i'm working on windows i'm going to use execute windows batch command so come here you need to explain this right if you watch part 14 15 16 so i'm simply going to copy this paste it here okay so this is my build action post build let's say i want to publish j unit report so i have to mention where this report is getting generated so this report is getting generated here okay so I have to add one more let's say i also want to publish the html report all right so let me on add and uh, html directory to archive let me say reports only and instead of normal html i like this report html extra so i am going to provide the name of this report okay and i guess pretty much it let's apply and so this is these are the two reports i'm going to generate at the end let me hit the save button okay so yeah it's configured so let us look at the collection for which i'm setting up this job at jenkins so this is my collection in this uh, I have written some test cases as well. So these test cases are covering as you could see uh, the schema validation. I've already lifted it to uh, lift it up to the collection level and then we are checking the body and all right and uh, this is also following the chaining part because I'm passing the ID from this previously generated right. We have seen that in the request collection. So so basically we are we are working on a pretty advanced uh, collection right which has got chaining concepts built in which i've got you know uh, those advanced test cases like schema validation and body right and 
we we have also seen that you know all these common test cases are lifted up to the collection level all right so this is the collection that uh, we are working on so let's uh, uh, yeah so we are here right let's build that so postman on jenkins so this has started let's click on that see on the console see that's the name of the collection and it has failed because of this connection all right so my server is not running which is great me just wait for this to come up and we can go to back to project click on back to projects come here so this is the report right we have seen that in past so total request 5 fail these are all fail but again because my my server was not running so yeah i think it's up now it's up now let us try that one more time and again click on build so, so what has happened is in the previous step you could see that the workspace is added and under that in the report folder is created and you see all those three reports okay so you click on that and you see the problem that has happened right so connection refused right so from the from your ci server screen you can figure out okay uh, what has gone wrong all right um, and same way in these other report this is the normal html report i like this one extra so you have the light theme dark theme you know you can click on these tabs and see more information anyways let's uh, uh, build it again our server is up and running let's click on this Right. So, so this is again failing and response time is less than so we expected this to be below 700 so this is a, a valid failure right uh, nothing to do with the uh, you know Jenkins or or the way we have set it up on Jenkins okay and let's uh, now check that in our HTML report so you could see that total 38 assertion only one is being failed right so let me inspect that and the assertion is being failed right expected this to be below so I expected all my uh, you know request should take lesser than uh, 700 milliseconds but this one took approximately 5 seconds so that's why it's failed uh, total request so we can click on that and see all the requests so post was failed because of uh, and the response time all right and this is the iteration it is correctly working um, let's run it a couple of more times let's see if it works if it passes this time else what i'll do is i'll, I'll increase the time yeah, so this is passed in this particular case okay back to the project and now you see this graph is automatically generated okay so the minimum requirement and this is being generated from your j unit uh, so we are publishing the j unit report and from that this particular graph is generating uh, for you uh, you have to make sure that for for you be you to be able to see that you have to make sure uh, that you have at least uh, one failure and one success then only you will be able to see it okay uh, so this is your graph and we have already seen the html report uh, let's let's do one thing uh, let's come to the test and post test and here let's change this so that our test case will fail okay i just have to save that come here build now and now it should fail right 
right so it is failed right uh, let's reload this page check the report okay and here this time it's failing and let's see so you could clearly see that right so what is the problem so yeah <clears throat> now if in your case you see the HTML report like this okay so there is a reason for that and what you have to do is so this is uh, related to the setting at your Jenkins end uh, what you have to do is so you have to you have to click on the Jenkins you have to go to manage right and click on script console and here you have to pass on this to show reports by default all CSS you know all JavaScript these are disabled in Jenkins for the security purpose so uh, that's the default setting uh, make sure that you know whenever whenever you ma make such changes you know there has to be a valid reason and you provide uh, you know you safeguard your resources all right uh, this is just uh, for the knowledge purpose okay so this is this is it this is how you can uh, run your uh, postman test on jenkins uh, and you know you can generate uh, all these uh, reports different type of reports graphs right your workspace you see all the reports you can you know export these reports if you want to you can again uh, you know set a post build action where you can send these reports to somebody and so on all right so i hope you like this video thank you